Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we do pick up on the TGC Tours and we are going to be showcasing the highlight reel of Wayne Enterprises Invitational. So we are on round one here and we do pick things up on hole number nine. I started this really, really well, swinging really, really well. This uh, entire four rounds I swung really, really well for. Um, I was really happy. The main thing was my putting. My putting actually turned up. It wasn't my... I played better from from uh, tee to green. It was just that when I got on the greens, I made my putts count. So as you can see, I hit the rough. I've played a great recovery shot here. I was just trying to bounce this on with it. The long iron onto the green here. And try and leave myself an eagle opportunity. But as you can see here, for one minute, I did think it was going to hole out. But uh, really set myself up with a really nice eagle opportunity there. And that actually moved me to 8 under par. So we did really get off to a good strong start. We were 8 under through 9 as you can see. We now pick things up in hole number 12 which is a par 4 playing 300 in yards. Stroke index 16. But I do hope everyone is well. I do apologise that I've only had... I think it was two videos up last week. I've just been so, so busy. But I will make up make it up to you over the coming weeks. But we did manage to actually drive the green here. And there's a great shot. We used the, the contours of the green and we have set up another eagle opportunity here. And it was quite a simple 12 foot putt. There wasn't much break in this one. As you can see, just breaking to the right. So I aimed just left edge and did turn and drop straight into the, the center of the cup for another eagle. I think I picked up three eagles in the first round. And that moved me to 10 under through 12 holes. So we move on to hole number 13, which is a par 5, playing 526 yards. But this was a really nice course. Um... The conditions here at Idle, Idle, Idle Winds Point Tour, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, there were very, very mild conditions throughout the, the four rounds, I do believe. And uh, but just happy with my putting the first couple of rounds, as, as you guys will see here. So I did drop down to the, the six iron here. Or did we remain with a five? It was the five. I was, I do recall now, I was very uh, fearful of, of not making it up that slope. And I decided that if I was going to be longer, I would be be a, a more easier putt for me. But we used the, the slope well. And it sat down fairly quickly for me. And I think it was probably about a 20, 22 foot putt for eagle opportunity here. 20 feet. It was three inches downhill. This one was turning to the left. But this was a really nice course. It was another course I enjoyed playing. It was a good putt line. And as you can see here, I was willing that to drop. And it did. And uh, that did drop for our third eagle of that round. So we did finish the first round with a 58. Um, so we picked things up again on round two. And hole number 13. We did get off to a great start. We birdied the first six holes. Parred the seventh. Birdied the eighth. Eagled the ninth. Birdied the tenth. Parred the eleventh and twelfth. And we do pick things up in hole number thirteen. Which is a par five, which we eagled in the previous round. So it was very similar wind conditions once again. Obviously just different T positions. Uh, flag positions, sorry. So just deal off in the 9 iron here, setting it to the right of the, the flag, allowing the wind to take us back round, which it did perfectly. Good. The green does turn to the right here, which we've seen at the camera flyby when we zoomed in. And we've really set up another good eagle opportunity here on the 13th. We were 10 under currently. 10 under through 13, through 12 holes. This was quite a nasty putt. These are the kind of putts I would normally miss. 
But as you can see, I read it really well, despite a poor putt line, and we did pick up the eagle there. So we do move on to hole number 18 of round two. And this is a par five, playing 536 yards, stroke index 18, which meant it was the easiest hole on the course. But as you can see from my swing line, it was really, really good. I was half expecting to get a an API strike. But uh, no, nothing came. It just felt like it was one of these these four rounds where nothing could go wrong at times. My swing was good. And as you're all aware, I've got to play my four rounds consecutively. So five iron into the green here. Bit of a wonky swing line there. I was just trying to run this on to the green from the fringe. But I actually overshot that. And it left me a, a longer eagle putt than I would have liked. I did expect to kick on from the fairway there. And once again, it wasn't a straightforward putt for eagle here. It was a 12-foot putt. Breaking quite aggressively to the right. And it was two inches downhill. It's starting to turn nicely. And it did turn for an eagle. And we did manage to finish round number two with another 58. So it was back-to-back -back 58s really enjoyed my first two rounds and as you can see we're currently top six on the leaderboard so we progress to round four uh, to round three sorry hole four of round three and it is a par five playing 580 yards stroke index 15 but once again look at the wind conditions they were really low very very mild another fantastic swing line We'd nail that way past 300 yards. Just thankfully holds on to the right-hand side of the fairway for me. And once again, it left a two-wood. So I was my thought process here was hitting the heavy rough here and holding this two-wood up. I was trying to just land the ball in this zone here. And we managed to do that just to perfection. And... It's probably one of the best shots I've played in the golf club 2019 to date. It's great when you execute a shot that you've talked through your head and it, it really comes off to perfection. And we did drop that for an eagle there on hole number four. It was a bit of a slow start on uh, round three compared to the, the first two rounds, but we did slowly pick things up and we do move on to hole number five here. We were just looking to get a favourable kick here and just try and turn this onto the, the green. But as you can see, we really overshot the, the green with the, the kick and the run. So it was a chip shot. 17 yards, so I clubbed down to the 12. Really lofted this up. And it's, I'd really expected that to sit down a lot quicker than what it did. So we failed to, to hit the green there with it, the chip shot coming back. So it left me another putt for birdie. This time a really challenging putt. I did choose to, to putt this from four yards rather than chip it. Very tough putt this one though, the way it was coming in. And I did think... For one second that we were dropping that. But at that time, and the way things were going, I was really gutted not to pick up birdie in that hole because I knew all the top players would be picking up birdie here. And it did leave me a difficult par putt, which we managed to just make on the edge. But I was, at the time, really upset, really disappointed not to, to birdie that one. So we do move on to hole number 11, which hadn't been a, a really good hole for me in the previous two rounds. In the first hole, we did bogey it. And on the second hole, we only parred it. So we started off with a fantastic tee shot there. And it did leave me a longer club into the, the green here. But it was a challenging par, par four. 
It was a long par 4, but the winds were very, very mild. But we just tried to float a 5 hybrid in here and just try to get it coming down softly on the green and try and make it stick as close to the, the flag as possible. And there you go, guys. You, you need a bit of luck at times in tournaments, and I certainly got that with that eagle there. And it did drop for a fantastic eagle. So let's move on to the final round. And uh, I'll be honest, I, I, I went into this final round thinking, come on, Lee, you have got a chance. I think I was like sitting four for fifth on the current leaderboard overall. And I went, if I can produce anything like I did in the round three, which round three was my best round. I, I, the first two rounds was a 58. Sec the third round was a 57. But just unfortunately, as you'll see here, I just couldn't reproduce that in round four. Um, we got off to the worst possible starts, as you're going to see here. We were left with 152 yards to the, the flag. I, I de-lofted. At the time, I thought I de-lofted it, but if you check that back, I actually lofted it. I was meant to de-loft this 9-iron, so it was a, a basic error. I, sl I slightly lofted it. I was I meant In my head, I was saying, I'll de-loft this, and as you'll see, you'll find out what happens. It was a really good strike. We were in line with the flag, but it just fails to get up the slope and it comes all the way back and it then left me a tricky chip shot. So I was quite angry with myself. It wasn't until I was watching back the highlight reel and doing the editing of the video that I realised I actually lofted that up instead of de-lofting it. And we left that chip shot really, really short. And it was a tricky par putt, 10 foot putt for par. It was turning to the left. The greens were 144 for this round. And I just didn't allow enough for the break. The weight was good. So we did pick up a bogey there, unfortunately. Holes two, three, and four, we parred. We didn't pick up our first birdie until hole number five. Um, but it was a very average. Um, 18 whole rounds for me in hole 4. We move on to hole number 11. We're currently 2 under par as you can see. Things weren't, weren't happening well at all. This was the first round where the wind was double figures. For me anyway. And at this point I was like, I've blew it. You know, I was like, I'm 2 under. I was just trying to hold myself together because I was really frustrated. I went into this round thinking, come on Lee. You've got a real chance at being at the top of the leaderboard or one better, winning it. And as you can see, I put a fast on that swing and it just went hard left. I was looking for a nice kick to the right, which it looked like I was going to get. Didn't seem to happen. Just seemed to kick forward. And once again, I left myself a chip shot from 15 yards out. And I did not execute this one well at all. As you can see, put a fast, fast on it, and it asked huge questions of me for the par putt again, but unfortunately we did pick up a bogey five here. We did go on to finish quite strongly with um, five birdies on the last six, seven holes, but we did finish with a total of 66. I did think for one minute we had pulled off the par save there, but as you can see, missed it. Missed it, the cup from millimetres, and we, we do tap this in. For the bogey, I was disappointed with my performance in round four. But as you can see, we did finish quite high up the leaderboard. I'm not sure exactly. I think I finished in the top seven, to be fair. I really enjoyed the course, really enjoyed that event. Hopefully, we'll get a round where all four rounds come together. But if you are new to the channel and you want to continue to see my uh, content of Golf Club 2019. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.